Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Hope everybody's having a wonderful day or night, and welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, time to do another What's New in Transformers. Yeah, love to talk about new Transformers this week. I don't have them in hand, just like to chit chat. So sit back, relax. Let's talk about some new stuff. All right, all right, all right. And up first, as always, add on kits, add on kits, add on kits for days. And it looks like we're getting new stuff from Matrix Workshop. We got our upgrade weapons from Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Brawn. So it looks like we get two new guns. He gets a little drill bit for his alt mode. And it looks like a piece where he can hold all the guns, his you know gun he comes with, and the gun, the two new, two new guns that come with this uh, little upgrade set. So pretty cool. You can put it on you know the alt mode. And can also put it on his back so he can carry all the weapons. So that's pretty cool. And I like the little drill bit that looks you know that's a nice little touch for him. And uh, it looks pretty good. I can't wait to get Braun. I don't have him yet, but uh, this sounds like a nice little uh, upgrade set for him. So there you go. Makes your workshop upgrade weapons for Studio Series Bumblebee movie Braun. All right. It looks like Robot78 has made a filler kit for Kingdom Tracks. Uh, and I'm going to put the link in the description where I guess you can order this. Uh, he's got some gap fillers for his uh, forearms. It looks like for the feet and a back filler too as well. So yeah, there you go. If you want to get some uh, filler kits for the, uh, the Kingdom Tracks, here's your chance. Like I said, just follow that link in the description and um, you can buy them. All right stuff for tracks and then we got three new sets coming from shockways lab so it looks like we have missiles coming for shattered glass jetfire or jetfire the you know the original uh one uh commander class and that is going to be sl126 and these look these look really cool i like the missiles they got them all you can shoot them for you know straight or you can you know move them around look like you know shooting them everywhere it looks pretty cool i like that and then we got some lighting effects for the Titan class Metroplex. So it looks like you can put it on his the weapons. It looks like his elbows, his knees, and inside his uh, little compartment where the car goes. Uh, so yeah, you have some light effects for uh, Metroplex. And then we have the core class shockwave filler, which you know you got some gap fillers and you get his hose too as well. So you can connect it to the uh, gun part. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, I really like the Skyfire, uh, you know, shattered glass thing uh, missiles. Those look pretty cool. I may have to pick up those. That's a nice little effect. So there you go. Shockwave Lab is giving us three new upgrade sets. All right, love upgrades. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for add-on kits. Let's move on to Legends. And it looks like half the Battle Toys, uh, looks like they're making some small, small, small Transformers. So you may have already seen these, but um, I'm finalizing the figures for TFCon LA, which will be in March. Uh, in conjunction with the LTC, we have broken the world record for smallest action figures. Uh, these will be non-transforming posable action figures. B comes in at 21 millimeters tall with almost 20 points of articulation. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, Prime and Megatron will come in at 37 millimeters and have 30 points of articulation. Uh, we will have the entire ARC crew and Nemesis crew ready by TFCon. So these are perfect for Titan class, you know, the ARC, anything like that you want to use them for. Wow, but that is really impressive. So small and yet so much of an articulation. They don't transform, but yeah, and I like the little card backs. That looks really cool. So there you go. Half the battle toys are going to be at TFCon LA. And if you have a chance to pick these up, I think it'd be pretty cool. Awesome. And it looks like Iron Factory IF EX55 Surfing Arrow, their Sea Spray, is coming out really soon. You see the box art already good. Man, this looks awesome. I love the Power Glide. I like the Beachcomber. Now we got Sea Spray coming. I love that Harpoon Gun. The Alt Mode looks pretty awesome too as well. So like I said, this is stylized. They are legend scale. But man, this looks really freaking awesome. Kind of, a, he's not, you know, the stubby kind of little, you know, G1 cartoon guy. He's kind of, you know, a little skinnier. Uh, like a, I think their take on uh, Fans Toys did a take on their uh, skinny uh, sea spray. But yeah, this looks really awesome. I like it. Both modes look really good. I Like I said, I love that harpoon gun. So there you go, man. Surfing Arrow is coming out soon, and I cannot wait to get my collection. Mm. Well, all right, folks. That's all we have for Legends. Let's move on to MP third party news. It looks like we got our first test shots from Fans Hobby MB-18. This is the Energon. Optimus Prime and we got uh, shots of the vehicle mode and size comparison with their naval commander from Armada and as you can tell it is a little bit taller 
uh, just not as long as the Naval Commander. And you can see the drones, and you can also uh, store the drones in the uh, trailer as well. So pretty cool. That looks nice. And then we got test shots also over the core robot. Uh, there are two configurations for the abdomen area, so you can choose uh, you know between those two. So it looks pretty good. Uh, they also call him Fatimus Prime because he's a little little bulky. Uh, he does have a little backpack on him, but it looks like he got some decent articulation. Got a big old gun. Uh, so there you go. There is the core robot. And he also has a base mode, so that's pretty cool. You can flip out everything, and like I said, you use the drones. They are going to be his arm and legs when he combines. Uh, but you can also use the mini cons, and you can have a little base mode. So it looks pretty cool. That looks freaking awesome. I can't wait for this. And the last mode we have is the combine mode. Like I said, you use his drones for his arm and his legs, and it looks pretty freaking awesome. I'm not going to lie. I know a lot of people are not happy or excited for a Energon Optimus Prime, but this looks really impressive. Fans Hobby does a great job. I love their Armada Prime, and I think I'm going to like this one too as well. Uh, the arms and legs are interchangeable too, so you can switch them out. That is pretty cool. So you can use a drill hand. He can open it up and use it as a hand. Uh, you can switch them out and all that stuff. So very nice. So yeah, I really like the combined mode. I'm really excited for this. Like I said, Fans Hobby does a good job. So there you go. Fans Hobby, this is MB-18 Energon Optimus Prime. And then up next we have Vectron Lab, which are doing a MP scale Devastator, or their Constructicons. And we get a first look at their scrapper, or they're calling him Ringho, Ringhiho, or Ringo, something like that. But yeah, we get, uh, these are just CAD drawings. Uh, he looks really, really tuned accurate. I mean, there's a lot of, not a lot of going on, not a lot of scope work or anything like that. So he does, they look really tuned. So I guess they're going, you know, for the tune accuracy. Uh, but yeah, it looks, it looks fine. You know, you got, you know, you got the bot mode, which is telling you to shh. And, you know, you got to look at, you know, his gun. Uh, so it looks pretty good. The, you know, the bot mode looks pretty good. The alt mode looks, you know, like I said, clean. Looks like, you know, kind of plain, just like they are, usually in the cartoon versions. Uh, you also get a leg mode, too, as well. So, uh, like I said, they are going to transform, and they do combine for Devastator. And this is going to be an MP scale. So this is Vectron Lab, and this is our first look at their scrapper. Or they're calling him uh, Ringyo. Ringyo, or something like that. Leader of the Excavators. So pretty cool. Yeah, if you need a, uh, you know, I like Toy World, uh, but you know, he's kind of more of a, I want to say toy version, uh, but this one looks more tunish. So if you want a tune kind of version of Devastator, you might want to go with this company. I don't know who they are. Could be from somebody other, I don't know, but we'll see. So Vectron Lab, Devastator is coming. And we got new images from Moon Studios. This is MS-05 Green Zone and MS-06 Cool Peak. So this is going to be the arm bots of these. They already got the legs out, and they're freaking awesome. And I'm excited for this one. So you get to see a little of the uh, bot mode, and you also see the train modes. And like I said, both modes look really good. I can't wait for this. I can't wait for Raiden. So there you go. This is going to be Moon Studios, Green Zone, and Cool Pink. We got some uh, samples. All right. I can't wait for these to come out, man. Get my collection. Well, all right, folks, that's all we have for MP third party news. Let's move on to official. So it looks like they're going to be making a Warp Cybertron Trilogy art book announced. So the art of making Transformers. So yeah, just announced. It looks like it's going to drop in the fall of 2022 uh, from uh, Mike Avelia. And yeah, it looks pretty. You know, that's going to be awesome. It's going to be Siege, Earth Rising Kingdom. And yeah, I'm excited, man. The box art is beautiful on all three of those, uh, Siege, Earth Rising Kingdom. So I can't wait to see the artwork in here. So there you go. This is War for Cybertron Trilogy art book announced for the fall of 2022. And we got some in-hand images of the uh, Masterpiece MP55 Nightbird. So yeah, it looks yeah, this is a be a retool and a recolor of their RC that we had, and uh, this is Nightbird, and what well, they're calling Nightbird Shadow, I guess. Uh, like the weapons, looks pretty good. You can take your fast uh, face mask off and ooh, so you got that option. You got some throwing stars. So there you go. I got this on pre-order from uh, you know Amazon Japan, so kind of excited to get this one. So there you go, Masterpiece MP55 Nightbird Shadow. It's coming out soon. All right, we got some in-hand images. Who doesn't love in-hand images? This is a Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Deluxe RC. And as you can tell, they already got these out and uh, already reviewing them, so imagine that. So RC is displayed in both her robot and vehicle mode as well as being imposed with her accessories. Uh, she is also compared with various other RC and movie figures. RC shows off a very nice design and manages to get a compact backpack for her size. And her new Cybertronian motorcycle mode is very original. Yeah, I really like the uh, alt mode. It looks really good. 
So there you go. In-hand images of RC from Bumblebee Movie. And I can't wait to get her. And in-hand images of Studio Series Bumblebee Movie Deluxe Ironhide. He is a redeco and retool of the previous Deluxe Ratchet figure. Ironhide also showed here in both his robot and vehicle mode, as well as posted with his gun accessories. Uh, he is also compared with a variety of other Ironhide and Bumblebee movie vi vi figures. Golly. Uh, Ironhide is overall looking very accurate to his on-screen model indeed. So there you go. In-hand images of Ironhide from the Bumblebee movie studio series. And more in-hand images of Transformers Legacy Core Class Skywarp. So this is part of the first wave of Legacy Core Class toys and is a direct redeco of the core Star Screen mode. Unfortunately, Skywarp does not come with snow rays, which makes no damn sense. Uh, these are custom painted off the uh, Star Screen toy. Uh, so if you want to have a, you know, buy an extra Star Screen toy, you can get some old rays and paint them. Uh, he also comes with a new fork-like weapon that will combine uh, with uh, the hot rod and everything to make a big sword or something. Um, it also can, you know, uh, attach the nose of the jet mode. Uh, so yeah, there you go. We got uh, new in-hand images of Legacy Core Class Skywarp. Man, he should have came with his weapons. Come on now. And guess what, folks? More in-hand images. This is from Takara Tomy Premium Finish PSSS04 Ratchet from the Transformers 2007 movie. This is a special redeco of the Studio Series SS04 uh, 2007 Ratchet with several new extra paint applications and uh, tampographs. Mo uh, most noticeably is a new vibrant green plastic. We can also spot a slight change in the rusty paint apps on the legs compared to the first official stock images. Uh, you can pre-order them at Chosen Prime, Ages 3 and Up, you know, Toy Dojo, wherever you want to. But yeah, this is the uh, new premium series, and this is Ratchet. Awesome sauce. Well, all right. Looks like Hasbro listens to the fans. So it looks like the new Legacy Leader Galvatron has a clean deco confirmed. Uh, now, the figure was actually first seen back in the very end of last year in the series of Legacy stock photo photos. And one thing many people noticed was a lack of battle damage deco that was present on the Kingdom version. Today, Hasbro is confirmed that it has indeed been removed due to fan feedback. So yeah, if you didn't like the uh, Kingdom uh, Galvatron with all the you know space goop and all that you know wonderful stuff, the battle damage, well here's your chance to have one that doesn't have that. So the Legacy Leader Galvatron will be clean. Uh, me myself, I liked it. I, I thought it gave it personality. I thought it was pretty cool. But you know a lot of people didn't like it. You can remove it too as well. But if you wanna, if you missed out on the first one from uh, you know from the Kingdom line, you can get Galvatron now with a clean deco. All right, they're listening to the fans. And it looks like we got some packaging images for uh, Studio Series Bumblebee Deluxe RC and Ironhide. So the photos show off both the front and back of the packaging, along with the giving us a good look at the CGI models on the front and side. Uh, the backs also show the back uh, backdrop displays, transformation step count, and brief bios. So there you go some boxes and then we have unruly industries optimus prime and bumblebee designer collectible statue full reveal so it looks like sideshow has finally updated their website with a full reveal of m and images of the new designer collectible optimus prime statue from unruly industries uh, this is by artist skeet one skeet 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 uh, this is a graffiti inspired design which uh, re-images the uh, autobot leader as a paint warrior but this is not all. Sideshow also updated their designer collectible Bumblebee uh, statue artist by Kano, uh, Transformer themed tribute to an auto loving Autobot. Each statue is made of vinyl and stands about 22.9 centimeters tall, and both will be limited edition. Uh, so they got Optimus Prime, can be pre ordered for $125 and scheduled to be released between October and December of 2022, and Bumblebee will be $115 and expected to ship July and September of 2022. So there you go. If you like this kind of thing, this is your cup of tea. So uh, Unruly Industries, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee statues. And guess what, folks? More in-hand images. Wow. So we got Vintage Beast Wars Cyber Shark reissue. So this figure is a direct reissue of the original Beast Wars Cyber Shark Deluxe Cyber Shark Troy from the 1997 uh, line with no changes. Uh, we have a look at the robot mode with weapons and the Hammerhead Shark Beast mode as well. A great nostalgia piece for any Beast Wars collector. Uh, this is going to be a Walmart exclusive, and it should be uh, out around this year, sometime this year. Uh, so there you go. In-hand images of Cyber Shark, and also Vintage Beast Wars Wolfgang reissue in-hand images. So we reported that uh, this is going to be another reissue of a non-cartoon character from Beast Wars. This time we have the uh, Wolfgang mode from uh, 1996. And we have good images of robot mode, accessories, and, weef and wolf beast mode. So there you go. We got two new uh, Beast Wars reissues 
that were in the cartoon. So pretty cool. And it looks like we got some new official G1 Transformers limited art prints by Sam Gilby announced. Uh, we have two teaser images of these limited edition Transformers 24 by 18 inches uh, prints drawn by him. The images let us see G1 Optimus Prime and Megatron behind their respective insignias. According to the information shared, the full, reveal, the full reveal will be this week and the prints will be available on the More Art Gallery website. So pretty cool. They look very nice. I like those. So there you go. Limited art prints by Sam Gilby. And it looks like the Micro Machines Transformers playset and vehicle packs were found in U.S. retail. Ooh, wait, I love some Micro Machines. That's pretty cool. So we have our first look at these new Micro Machine Transformer products. Uh, these are plastic boxes which can be opened to become a mini playset for the mystery diecast vehicles that come inside. Uh, they were found in Target in California for about $8. Well, that's not bad. Uh, from what we can see from the image, there are six different sets to collect, and we can also spot that. Bugatti, BMW, and General Motor logos on the Transformers 2007 and Revenge of the Fallen titles. There will also be a Micro Machines uh, little play set. It looks like a Bumblebee play set. Uh, the price is going to be at $35. Uh, usually they do the line will kick off with a play set based on a Chevrolet Camaro, which transforms into an action garage and set exclusive barricade Micro Machine toy. So you get a little barricade a little figurine with it too as well. So yeah, it looks like the Micro Machines and Transformers are coming back, and that's pretty cool. This is uh, supposed to be back, uh, this will be released in December, it looks like. I'm sorry, spring of 2022, uh, you'll be able to see this uh, little uh, play set. So yeah, if you like Micro Machines and you like Transformers, man, it's going to be awesome. They also have, uh, including Optimus Prime, Bumblebee, Ratchet, you know, all the major players. So there you go. Micro Machines and uh, Transformers are in stores now. That's awesome. And the last news we have, and it's pretty exciting, I'm excited, so hot off the presses from G.I. Joe's 40th anniversary live stream that was taken yesterday, we take a look at our next collaborative uh, little crossover thing we got with Transformers and G.I. Joe. So it looks like Megatron is going to transform into a his tank and also come with barrenness. All right. And Megatron transforms from a very G1 looking robot into a uh, his tank and also come with a barrenness figure. She is going to be the O-ring version and uh, she can also sit in the cockpit in vehicle mode and she can sit on top of him as well in robot mode. Um, I like the alt mode. Alt mode looks really good. I kind of wish it was all painted black and I think, you know, anybody that, you know, has customizing skills can paint him black. Uh, it just looks kind of weird with the, you know, with it all black and then you got some silver on the back end of it. Uh, the bot mode, that's gonna, it looks kind of, I don't know, it looks really back heavy. Uh, it looks like the articulation on the shoulders and everything is going to be very limited. Uh, you do have some waffles. My God, the, uh, his fusion cannon has a huge waffle. You got the legs, so, you know, they're going to make a filler kit for him. Uh, he looks okay in bot mode, but I'm really liking the alt mode, and I'm probably going to keep it in alt mode. But yeah, the uh, pre-orders went up for him at, uh, you know, you got uh, Chosen Prime, Toy Dojo, uh, BBTS, you know, Amazon, all the, you know, major retailers you can uh, get there. So I got mine and uh, they did reveal a bunch of nice G.I. Joe stuff as well, too. So there you go. That's our next crossover. We're going to have Megatron, His Tank, and a Baroness. And it's not slated to re be released until 2023. So maybe end of the year around that area, we'll get this guy. So there you go. Man, Megatron has a His Tank. Well, all right, folks, that's all I have this week for news and not a whole lot, but it was pretty interesting. We got a lot of in-hand images, a lot of official news, lots of good stuff coming on, man. That Energon Optimus Prime from Fantabi, I'm looking forward to that. The Moon Studio uh, Raiden or the uh, Train Bots, I'm really looking forward to that. That Sea Spray, I'm looking forward to that, man. I just love Transformers and I'm just so excited. So yeah, hit me up with some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go there and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up with some comments. Tell me what you're excited for. Are you excited for any of this stuff? And I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer, uh, what's new in Transformers. And as always, be good to yourself. Man, hell freaking Transformers. And good night, folks.